quite literally been playing a ton of of late. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we this got Omni Man like, sub so like versus really kind of Smoke sub. Here, okay. Like, as far as mixing things up, because I assume is not gonna be it's because like Rebels worried about because Smoke's um, is going to be the sub one. making oh, Kung Lao is... cameo not useful, maybe. Because I know he's been pretty <laughs> dedicated to Omni Man <laughs> Lao. What the hell is that so menacing? I'm, I'm really oh yeah, I saw really Merkin. I saw. How the teleports interact with each other. Uh, that's gonna be the one. down back four from Smoke. Yeah. Of course, Viltrumite stance teleports uh, from Rebel here. And here is the mini game of blocking what you cannot see as the back two comes Oh no, through. he's going to uh, go invisible. Zero, uh, has been the main go to of late. Oh my god. Smoke, and you're seeing exactly why it sets up a free invisible mix up. Yeah. Oh nice. Damn, I wish we would have gotten to see Dylock and just nasty. That would have been such a good set to watch. No, that was the overhead, regular overhead, yeah. excuse me. Just nasty, looking calm and composed up there right now. But Rebel, we saw one nah, Sunless Rebel Ninja won a even more stack tourney than this last night. Um, post patch. You gotta make sure that doesn't happen again. Like any of the conspiracy theories about why Ninja didn't play are like either definitely not true or probably not true. I bet you what happened is he just didn't feel like going. And then like the turn, <clears throat> I don't know what happened. I got something like in my throat. Really the term is probably not important enough to him to where like he wanted to overcome and, uh, that like feeling of not wanting to go. Ooh, we do get that down one to I think that's what happened. That's important. Even if you want the the absolute truth, I mean, I would hit up his Twitter. From downtown, you're gonna get called out by a stray normal from smoke. Ninja don't and fuck with this game here. like that, bro. He has like a million no, games played bro, on like 20 different accounts. Has been known for since the launch of the game that everybody was kind of afraid of up until now. The Terry name of yesterday Maybe champion in the realm. More difficult to play him at the high level, but that damage if he's got bar, that's free near 500 damage by accident. It's yeah. so it's so much. Damage. Like I bet you if you added up all of Ninja's accounts, but yeah, he has the most time played on MK1 right, like, right now. Uh, the damage output from smoke. But he doesn't stream, so like his fans get to like cap and be like, oh, he doesn't even play. Meanwhile, like Ninja Warrior 87 or like Ghost Blade 57 has like 50 million games played. And with the Sub Zero, nice four four opener, but not gonna commit. Uh, but that damage output is all aerial combos from Smoke. Yeah, we do see a lot of great. Yeah, it was peas. It was. And one of the flaws of playing Smoke. Miss inputs that happen from you trying yeah. to keep up with Vicious Vapor. Rebel not getting the follow ups he needs again. I mean, he's getting a lot of throws, but the damage has been on average. Maybe Have I run to Dr. H? Yeah, many times. The, the guy's always on the game. Who was Ninja and COTR? I think his name was like Ghost Blade or Ghost Slash. Something like that. For a ride. Poor Peter Parker. Once again, he prefers to go for the drop. Like the early drops to go for a mix up. He didn't have loud. Yeah, Ghost and Slash, yeah. That's a lot of damage getting left on the board, but it's just the way Rebel likes to play. Likes to continuously, yeah, consistently uh, go for regular restand, oh, uh, restarts. Try, try to go for the stand one anti air. Yeah, it's so interesting because you can still get Oki after a good grip of damage yeah. at least 30% from Omni Man here. Good break. Yeah, it was like, the last one. The it was post patch. Like that, that is a thing also. So I'm, I'm curious if they'll ever go for that. But nice. the sub zero coming in right where he needed it to, stopping the charge, not really giving it. Oh no, this is looking bleak. Ooh, right. poked out of it. That was nice. Here, and that is so okay, the throw. Against smoke, you have to try to go for these interrupts at any given moment. Ten seconds left. Just nasty needs one solid confirm. Ooh, six seconds left. We Literally just have trying to, to chip away. <gasps> we need to chip away. Oh, we do get the hit with the four four. Wall invisible, just nasty, making it out in this he, round by the skin of their teeth. He literally is just nasty. He's so good in these late game situations. And Rebel, yet another match. How many times have we seen Rebel go all the way to the end and lose it just at the end? That's dumb. Yeah. Gotta be a heartbreaker for him while he's playing up there. Absolutely nice. Reset off Vicious Vapor. Got the freeze, couple pumps. 3-2 combo extender. Go ahead, get him all the way over to the corner. Oh, no drops. That was supposed to be the finisher there. So got a grip of 300. You can pick this up. <laughs> I'm done, Ethan. Yeah. Jesus. Slow interrupt. <laughs> now we don't have to worry about low half effect all for a bit. <laughs> nice. Right. I love the pace. Hey, Ethan, who are you talking to? Down you down talking to field. Darian? I like that breaker there from Just Nasty, too, because you want to keep Rebel from... Do you have to get permission to restream tournaments? Uh, no. Nah. he gets an opener, let's stop it right away. For plus frames on the 4-4, about even on health. Nah. Oh, no. 
kicks actually kicking sub zero pressure doubles <laughs> means that you don't have to worry about invis uh mixing no uh fane let me go see what fane said i'm not seeing any full screen like uh shoulder dives behind the hat too oh so darian just to against Havis. darian just he busted that <laughs> a stack of pressure again forward four that's crazy bro <laughs> the glazing bro on the four two three or back three two this time that damage is a little bit oh, more yeah well, I mean, it's not insurmountable oh, oh my god dude if you, i swear if you get another fatal blow oh, didn't have the meter because it would have been the back two three yep. you do the down back four meter burn and then you get your uh fatal blow but the timing is so tough on yeah, <laughs> that's blow. crazy bro the insane Zagabon glazing right. throw doesn't kill you there so you take a throw <laughs> only that's it you don't let may win off hit. okay got the four four my stance, carry him up. Okay, Rebel, 200. okay, fighting back. Uh, actually, could be 400 if he chooses to, but he always goes for the setup. Yeah, there's so much damage left on the table with the solid play from Rebel. Right, nice cancel, down three, back. Three, I don't think, like, hit, you should let, like, sub cameo so scare right. you off of, like, Lao cameo or Striker. Because, like, uh, that's what we've been here's the thing, for. right? Like, if he's way using way sub for projectile immunity, for that means setup. he has less sub charges for uh, freeze, which is, like, the way. whole he's point just, of smoke really sub. The, and then also, if you happen to hit him when he comes out, that means sub's gone for a minute. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't think you should, like, uh, let sub cameo, like, make you stray away from like projectile game or like loud cameo stuff like that nice rebel okay so rebel plays omni man in a very different way than most but it works for him and that worked for him in that game there where he was able to finally get one on the board well i mean same thing could be said for just nasty it plays different about every week like we find a new way to get into a groove it's certainly much more different if you look back at earlier sets of just nasty playing just nasty very ninja much only loses the sonic he smokes all these guys that's the problem though like, like just it's kind of a scene killing mentality for to get people like, props like, for stuff they, stuff they didn't do uh, like yeah like yeah, if yeah. we're being honest like there's probably like a 20 percent chance that dragon beats ninja or maybe like uh or maybe like um Maybe Gur has like a 10% chance. Maybe like, I don't know, like Dylock has a 10% chance. And those are all low chances, right? But they're still chances. Just Nasty might have like a 10% chance. Whereas like if he doesn't show up, there's no chance he loses to anyone. But he still gets the props as if he won, you know? I feel like that's kind of lame. Yosef best. No, top 3-2 winners is over. Top eight winners is uh, Toxin, Dragon, Dylock, and Gur. Yeah, that was a great sequence right there from Just Nasty with 28 seconds on the clock. Who has beaten Bro in the last four years? He also enters like rarely though. It's just that, yeah, well, actually not even his round or lose. He gets the W on the board with that throw. Enough damage to do it. So good there was one stretch on MK11 yes. last year where he Ooh. entered everything Ooh. for like a couple oh, weeks, <laughs> and he lost to Gambler, Pulse, Unjust, <laughs> like all like the regular people, like took uh, wins off of him. He, it's just he obviously is uh, the best most of the time. Um, and if not, it's Sonic. So like he's gonna win like a lot of the time. But if he entered everything, he would take L's. Like it's literally happened before. Jump damage. Oh, that's a little bit far, but we are going to get that confirm into the invisibility setup. Opened up. There's another back three. Finishing it out. We're going to go ahead and wake up with the Giblet Maker. This is, there's still plenty of time for uh, Omni Man to put a lot of damage on Vassal. Just Nasty. Understandably wow. so. He's playing very careful, and he does. Exactly okay, okay. 2 1. Gets it 2 1. And. Very Damn, he looks mad that he other won. Players at this level, even when they win, they shake their head because they say not good enough. That wasn't yeah, good that enough. Was not that like, but again, too. Like, the only one who can face Ninja is Sonic, no doubt. Like to play Didn't wasn't combat like a hit away? That is a tall at ECT or something like that. It is Rebel. a very taxing <laughs> job. Yeah. <laughs> Rebel um, also trying to play in this Omni Man setup here. Not again very consistently getting opened up by back threes and it's all conditioned from just nasty just poking low once or twice and it forces rebel to block <laughs> um high, or, or excuse me going for like the stand buttons and then forces rebel to block high that opens up the back three opportunities 
has been pretty consistent so far on the way he's been able to open a rebel but rebel is finding his moments too he's getting a lot of quick damage good throw though to make sure that doesn't get much further and that back two is gonna go ahead and get him a full corner carry nice go for the regular one no it doesn't go for otg here we go it is now time for just nessie to have a field day oh i think so ominous i think so bro he's down one a lot that is the first time he went for that you know, and it's not a bad call because you say it with your chest, you had to spend armor on it, but at least you're not getting mixed for another 30%. Saying I am indeed invincible to this mix up that you have, but right now it's all about finding another opener. You can't really afford to box. Um, I think so, much. Giggle. He's got two bars on deck over there. Ooh. So if he wants to go crazy, that's never gonna happen though. That's the first time I think that we've seen that up block attempt on the back. You have some Mike Wallace, I appreciate that. Out immediately against Rebel. Match point for Just Nasty right now. Just Nasty that much closer to getting himself to yet another trip to another top eight, but this time offline situation here at DreamHack Atlanta. Maybe it'll happen. The way he's playing, it sure looks like it, but that one two is gonna give him a little bit of a check. All right, nice, got our tech. We're out of the corner and the down one interrupt again here. Immediate break wants to maintain at least some semblance of a lead here. Good spacing right there from Rebel to get the full combo punish. He's going to give him low hat setup. <gasps> no! Oh, too far, too yeah, far don't start punish. glazing me, though, Harsh. Right, well, don't start glazing me. So, I don't want to be glazed right now. The damage was contained. Yeah. Right, good low hat block. We're gonna get the big claps coming. I'm liking Quan. I haven't really got to play him yet. Yeah, you may have thought you were gonna be able to force your turn there, but every single time he's tried to go for that setup, oh. he has on reaction put Sub Zero's armor on. There we go. Got the invisibility setup. Goes for air combo. That was the three series. Keeps himself safe side for the oh, moment. No! Oh, it ran out. He's able to see him again. And once again, yet another down one. Rebel not really giving a damn about these invisible mids. Is this ninja kill? <laughs> up that's good because you're gonna mitigate the low hat opportunities but the throw will finish the round here okay rebel okay round not piece. giving up rebel still in this think think, think about that mix up that did not work anymore oh i have no idea yet killjoy trying to see if you can get him to be a little aggressive in that situation from the low hat is nate uh I'll does ninja main lou i think so right now yeah I've seen him playing a lot of loot jacks too. That team looks good because you can like extend combos and get throw combos. Who do I like to take it today? Top eight's actually tomorrow. Um, I think Dragon's got to be the favorite, right? But Gur's looking really good. Uh, Toxin's looking good. Dialogue just nasty. That was wild. Oh no, he finally gets an opener on it, but he does not get any follow-ups. That oh, UFC is going to be high. Left on the table. And Just Nasty gets to capitalize fully because he now no longer has three bars. He has Fatal Blow, but that's not going to matter because we cash this out. Um, Ninja's played in two tourneys so far. Nasty. ECT and uh, Champion of the Realm. Into that championship Sunday Damn, Just Nasty got it. Top eight. Stage two, let's Streaming go. your run. Oh, I'm not going to be playing. I already qualified. Yes. So I'll be in the finale on the yeah, 29th. Matchup alone, you're looking at trying to navigate this space, being able to interrupt with your. Oh, you'd be uh, dead, crazy fingers. Pressure on knockdown. It's going to be so important for Smoke to remain close because that stand one. Yeah, I mean you're going to be ready, and every time you do get called out for your down back two, it's going to be upwards of 400 damage. Yeah, this is your time to press right now too for Big Daddy G. You got yes. that poke in on Sento. It's time to lock show off down. Yeah, my side of the bracket in the finale is unjust, and then the winner of Pulse and Ninja if I win that. Corner, still his turn. Ooh, we're guessing down one. Yeah, it's still my turn. Where the hell did he go? Nobody Ooh. knows. Reappear into a throw. And great lead for Big Daddy G right now. Armor's up. Already gets called out. Ooh, right, nice whip up. punish. There okay, go. got Sento back to out. Sento, to make sure that Good life lead here from Big Daddy G. I see he's on sub too. Yeah, I feel right, like sub block. is just clearly the best cameo right now for Smoke. That's like that invis setup that's he gets with Smoke is just so, just or with sub is just so good. Gives him like top two or three offense in the game. Probably top three. I would say the best offense in the game is like Kenshi, then probably Sindel, then probably Smoke. Because you're establishing layers. Like you're not trying to become a predictable pattern when you are pressuring with Smoke. You want to keep pressing through some of these strings sometimes because the opponent might let go of block. Yeah, they're on the new patch, but Quan Chi's not allowed. Big Daddy G. Good blocks. Uh, been doing ama exactly that amazing at blocking this and walks away with no damage. 
outside of uh, girl was using loud got the down back four instead yeah that was quite the sequence right there great on k7 not getting called out but almost did if the down back four was a little bit faster a free jump in there from big daddy oh, that's is k7 trying to just set up sento without anything behind it that's so trash you're on yeah, top eight with kwan chi let's go side swap i believe on there. oh now it's time for him to play though you got a lot of damage incoming and we're gonna okay out fatal blow two not gonna to kill sure but we make this go put him in a good position a one touch game for both uh, both players right now okay. poor peter parker shout out to yuri lowenthal the goat right now trying to see if uh, ooh, getting interrupted yep. Yeah, it is your turn after blocking a back two. Down one does find the mark. And again, stand one, down two to get the finish here. You can't beat That's a K7 show off, bouncing around in the seat for a second. It's like, okay, all right, I got this, I got this. This is incredibly Big Day G got top 16 with Smoke at ECT. Yeah, it depends on how you weigh things, right? Because, like, just Nasty's had some online runs that are, like, way more impressive than, uh, than like, any of Big Day G's runs. But a lot of people, they don't like counting online at all. Case and obviously, Big Day G's big done more offline so far. Yeah. But I don't know. This tournament might change things. I don't know. We'll see what kind of runs they make from here. Yep. Right now, this is a uh, well, minus less activity for you. There's no time for you to play. Yeah. You got a couple of flawless blocks in there, but it just never ends. That's what's so strong about Kenshi. At certain points, you can have rounds that are just that dominant. I guess probably, honestly, oh really, Bez? I need to play that. Uh, that finally, so many games to play though. So far. Oh yeah, yeah. Or leaps and bounds. Oh, there's like, no qualifiers, Cody. You just show up and pay the entry fee. Uh, the damage output again, just being the key factor here. Still committing to that string, getting that punish. Not gonna whiff on me. It's now it's time to play. We're gonna cash out. I think we're going for the 400 variant oh, yeah. version here. Yep. All right, now where do we go? Just no. Keeps it at the mids, and we get the corner carry. Yeah, I did, man. That game was great. Well. Still got that pressure coming from Sento, and unfortunately, when you're smoke, this position you're kind of locked in. You could go for yep. armor down back too, but as often as K7 has been ready for it, you're gonna get stand one anti aired, and that's the fear that you're not playing with. You are stuck in a corner. That's the thing we brought up at the very beginning of the match. Is that there could be a lot of moments where a smoke can have field day. But oh, Evo, you just go. Sento, the the like only tournament where you can't just go is Final Combat. Yeah, like I said in uh, just Nasty's match. Yep. You know, Patty or Tony? Well, I want Tony to win, but I think it's going to be Patty. Has yeah. to be dominant in the set. Your opponent cannot beat you on neutral. Two very similar play styles in that with that Omni Man and the low hat. But this time it is Kenshi and Kenshi. He's <laughs> putting in some work. Yeah. So I played Cyberpunk at release, and I didn't even have that many bugs, but I felt like it was mid. But I heard with all the updates and the DLC, it's actually really good. I need to revisit it. Again, but this patience from K7 show off throwing through and even there too, just constantly getting these poke hits. But now this is your time to play. You don't cash out that bar. You just make sure you get the corner here. Oh. Gamer one, Back three, two. Let's go. Paper. And that is the right challenge. Had Big Daddy not done down. And that's 2-0 for that K7. And my God. Oh, let me look real quick. Nice, good stuff, Gambler. For K7. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. It's get, it scales a little bit, but there's still a good amount of damage here. From Damn, so Gambler plays just nasty tomorrow. It off this final no, oh, it's, it's not over yet. Now it is. Okay. It's the overhead. Yeah, that one, that route scales pretty hard. Yeah. So, uh, but it was very close. K7 shot once again. Going Would you rather drink and glass of water or a glass of lava? I mean, water. Yeah, I mean, Price pool for Champion of the Realm, like 5k right now. There, just get the extended health for you just for a little bit, but also K7. Just incomplete. Oh, did King make top eight? So character select, back to smoke we go. Nah, Pulse did. So Pulse will play the winner of this, okay. I think, uh, yeah, he thought about it. He was thinking about it for a second, because... Sub Zero has definitely allowed him to get some setups, but it has not helped him in terms of keeping Kenshi out. So at that point, yeah. maybe Lau's the play. He thought about it for a second, but he's gonna stick with his guns. We're gonna go back into game, uh, the final, Ooh. potentially the final round. You would have uh, nice soap. Yeah, that'd be cool. 
Yeah, top eight tomorrow. So yeah, Dialog's actually in top eight winners. He beat just nasty impulse or er, and uh, yeah, impulse. It makes Smoke's game plan that much harder. That was good for Big Daddy G getting a bait on him to see if he would try to off lock that back too. So now he knows what he's hunting for. Oh, Kenshi's just gonna get, uh, keep getting buffs, y'all. Forever. Before, he's not afraid whatsoever. And we're just seeing it right here. And that's the thing, like, the, you have to recognize that these smoke and mirrors are literally just that. Like, you can challenge, not every time, but there are clear openings if you study the matchup. What cameo? He used all uh, Shao Kano. He is a little bit behind in health, but it's not that big a deal because he has Breaker if he feels like trying to solidify the round. Nice duck under from Big Daddy G. A small life lead now. Just the same one. Yeah, yeah interrupting at too little too late. Crash out that bar every day of the week here. Now it's all about that chip damage. It's been a lot of flawless blocks from Big Daddy, but we talked about it before. You have to block every single one of these individual hits, and it just keeps Damn, bro, that looked tough right there. Again. K7 show off one round away from taking it home. The benefit of flawless blocking, though, is that once you get the single flawless block, you can hold the block button. And as long as the string is true, that chip damage will not come through. The, the yep. meter bill will not come through until you start letting go and try to That's the frightening thing about Kenshi. It's not I'm not going to lie to you, Arun. I've never got the impression that Kenshi looks ass. Like watching anyone. Kenshi, and it makes you get tripped up. Big Daddy G holding yet another full combo string. We're going to have one more left-right mix he's going to have to potentially deal with here. Oh, nice. Missed opportunity there because of the delay. Wake up. Big Daddy G not getting the confirm. You had to break. You can't afford to take any more of that damage. Big Daddy G now without a big cash out combo. Forward four is going to get heavily punished by Sento, though. I love how Sento came up in the background. This Remember is looking me? tough what right here. Do it? It's looking Jover right now. Is like near checkmate situation here. There's it's Jover. No on deck and there's nothing you can Damn, K7 got it. W going for K7 it's going to be K7 and Pulse tomorrow. All right, I got to pee real quick. Y'all be right back. On